two languages. Her career. Yeah, career if she just up. if she gets the right agent and gets that takes the right roles, she's gonna be in another in another X Men film like the new. Well, X-Men she's gotta be the new Wolverine, so, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. Right. She's. So anybody who's ever you, you, I don't know if you ever follow the Wolverine uh, the series, but this is kind of based. This was based on uh, two separate uh, ten or two separate stories in the X-Men Wolverine kind of thing. You know, Old Man Logan um, where he dies in the comics and then where the the new Weapon X, the Weapon X 86 whatever the fuck it is, the girl that mm-hmm. you know, she was... X-23 you know, X-23, yeah, yeah, yeah. That she is, you know, Wolverine's daughter in this kind of, kind of way. That uh, she was uh, created by the same people that created Logan or whatever and then they were going to, you know, they were using her. They put like this switch in her that whenever they either I can't remember if it was they said something to her if they just you know fucking made her smell some shit I can't remember exactly how it did it but she would just go into fucking kill mode and then that was it so she was made as a weapon to kill Wolverine didn't work out though yeah oh well, I'm glad they didn't do that in uh, right the movie right I like the way they did it yeah me too yeah I just yeah uh, I, I wouldn't say the Professor X thing ruined it for me no uh, because the movie was badass to finally to finally see Wolverine Killing people yes. the way he should. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> go berserk, man. That yeah. that was just the, the best part. Right. So for me, the like the previous films, when you're seeing him do all this stuff, I'm like really, these guys are made of dust. They don't fucking bleed. Yeah, kind of like yeah. Ninja Turtles with Leonardo and the sword. Yeah, uh, that always bothered me. Yeah, I'm like he would be cutting motherfuckers in half, chopping some bitches in half. Yeah. No, but what I was saying is, I saw that little girl do it. They, they were talking about her audition, and she asked if she could just. If she could ad lib, so that scene where Logan and her are in the in the truck before he takes her to where the fuck North it? Dakota, North Dakota, yeah, that was all her. She basically ad libbed that in her in her audition, and they used it. Yeah, you, you know, that was that was one of my favorite parts. Is when like had that whole exchange when you're like, oh, you can talk, and then she starts going off. He's like, shut the fuck up, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then she starts speaking English. Yeah, and he's, he's, he's like, oh, here we go. They're he's never gonna I stop. Mean, I, it's kind of sad that they killed they killed uh, Logan at the end of this film because their chemistry was so oh, fucking God. spot on. Yes. yes. Well, here's my question though: How old? Because I think she's what twelve, twelve or something. Yeah. How old would she have to be? Maybe three more years or so before she could do. You think you could do a uh, new Wolverine movie with her as the lead? I don't know, but I know what they're supposed to be doing is like the the next the generation next that like would, New the, Mutants or something right. like that. Well, the, there was a comic series Generation Next, which was oh, okay. the younger uh, generations of mutants coming up. So okay, but yeah, that's a good question. I'd probably wait. I'd say about three years, probably fifteen, maybe. Because I, I mean, Clo- I uh, what's maybe. her name? Chloe uh, Moretz or whatever was like ten when she did Kick Ass, and she did good in that. Oh, that's true. And then it was just kind of like just yeah. took off from there. Yeah. So maybe she can start right away. Uh, that's so. maybe. That'd be kind of tough, though. It would be, but she seemed like a little badass. Yeah, I wish I, I wish that was my daughter. I wish I had a daughter who was just like badass, and yeah. I could be like, make me money. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got three of them in there. Hopefully, well, one teach of them one of them to be a badass. Oh man, here, here's another language. Learn it. Learn it. Learn Spanish. What was it? Uh, uh, I, I can't remember which comedian always said that, but it was like people always say that people who can speak like you're like, oh, that guy's dumb. And he's like, no, that guy can speak seven languages. He's like, well, good. Then uh, that means more people can hear how stupid you are. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? Is that Bill Burr? I think that was Caparillo. John uh, Caparillo. John Caparillo, yeah. I believe. All right, my number seven. Yes, sir. Oh, man, let me think. i got to think of a good... Uh, Simon says, bleed. Did if, I, if it's it, what I'm thinking of, you just undercut me. Really? Yeah. Did I? Was it in 1993? Simon Phoenix, you yep. bastard. The <laughs> yeah. what? That's my number three. Demolition Man. That's like my... Oh, thank God. That was almost on my list. Yeah. That's like my favorite movie ever. I love that movie, man. Is that your one? No, it's my number three. I was going to say. He doesn't know how to use the seashells. <laughs> that, movie, that, movie is, that movie is literally 90s perfect. Absolutely, because it makes fun of... It's great. It makes fun of the utopian society, which is bullshit because it can't happen, but... Uh, <laughs> Taco, everything's Taco Bell. Taco Bell, yeah. I'm going to take you to dinner. To Taco Bell, yeah, great, great Dennis Leary. <laughs> oh great, yeah, great little oh his rant, king. his rant. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! I wish I'd have queued that up. That rant was fucking. Do <sighs> you ever see the ref? Awesome. No, I don't think so. Oh, you need to watch that movie. The ref, yeah, Dennis right. Leary, Kevin Spacey, and Annette Bening. He's a burglar, and he takes them to hostage. The ref. What was the other one you said I need to see? 
shit. What was it? Was it earlier today? Yeah, it was earlier this segment. I know it was Castlevania. Oh, yeah, there was the Castlevania. Netflix. Castlevania yeah. cartoon. Was the movie that was funny to watch? There was another one. Anyway. Oh, well. So, Demolition Man. Yeah. Yeah, it's great movie. One, another Sandra Bullock one. Yeah. The sex scene. Oh, it's like great. <laughs> He's like, they don't touch each other. Yeah. I wonder if we ever get to there. No. Where they find <laughs> some kind of way to just no. not even touch each other during no. the no, 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 Please, no. No. Yeah, I don't want it to happen. It's not going to happen. Uh, yeah, thank God. After HIV, Europe, there was NAS and then Europe, Europe will not allow that. No. <laughs> no. No, no, no. All right, number six. Six. Number six. Motherfucker. <laughs> that could be any. Let's see if I can do this right. All right. Come on, man. <laughs> Wait. I got a small dick. Would I be a spy if I had a small dick? Would it be a... Oh, come on. Come on. This James lies. Cameron. Oh, oh no. yeah. Uh, James Cameron. Yeah, I was yeah. in there. True Lies, yeah. Yeah, True Is Lies. It, yeah, lies. I was about True yeah. Lies. Okay, yeah. Bill that Paxton. Was, uh, Bill Paxton, yeah. Oh, uh, I missed that Paxton. guy. Oh. I didn't put True Lies on my list. 94. 94, yeah. He, he did dispose it, of the bad guy in a really awesome way, though. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I would say, I'm not as good as catchphrases as you guys. <laughs> or key lines and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just looked at my number six, and I can't remember any key lines from it, so. I so you can come up with some kind of thing. Uh, like I'll I did figure with, it out. Like yeah. I did with Blade. Yeah. Uh, All right, what's your number six there? Flare. 32 pieces of flare. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever seen a sailor chick's tits coming out of a dancing cake? Oh, under siege. Under there it is. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, there you go, guys. Eric Liniac. Yes, Tommy, sir. Is that Tommy Lee? Tommy Jones. Yeah, and, Jones yeah. yeah, dude. Uh, that Adam, knife fight at the end was pretty. That was yeah. Ass. That's that is mainly why I put this on my list because that because that knife fight. Yeah. But I mean the whole the whole movie long. Uh, first of all, Steven Seagal in his prime is a badass. Yeah. Steven Seagal. Uh, man, I've done some research on that guy. He is a fucking tool. <laughs> 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 Yeah, he's if, a badass, but no, he's a tool. No, yeah. no I don't know. No, I'm sorry, I but if was, he was a tool, he'd be a Swiss Army knife. Oh, uh, <laughs> man. I said, man, he, he's, a, he's all bullshit. That's Everything fine. about him is bullshit. That's fine. It doesn't matter. kind of does. It's Hollywood. I, it I doesn't never, matter. No, 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 no. Like, so if you look at you know some of the Hollywood uh, karate and martial artists and shit, you know, like, I, I'll give uh, Chuck Norris shit because he's a stupid. He's one of the dumb Republicans. I give him shit about it all the nice. time. Yeah, but that guy tell him that to his tell him that to his third fist under his chin. Uh, okay, I will. I have, I have no problem calling him a stupid Republican to his face. I would love to see that. We need to. You know, he's he's like eighty years old. That's right fine. Now. That's fine. Kick bull. That's fine. But we need to start like a Patreon or something to try to get <laughs> Chuck Norris here, so you could tell him that to his face. Yeah, you're a stupid Republican. And then he would tell. Then he would tell the Cobra joke. And yeah, yeah. And he would. And uh, um, so what I, what I would tell what I would say to you to that is. Um, you're entitled to your opinion, but uh, uh, I'm too old to run house kick you to the face. <laughs> <laughs> so I will just shoot you. So I will just, uh, uh, I'm just going to go tell my Bruce Lee story and uh, how we practiced in the hallway until four in the morning. And then I'm going to go invade USA. <laughs> As Lone Wolf McQuaid. But anyway, so if you look at, if you look at all those, Jean-Claude Van Damme, the guy could actually do the shit he said he could do. Bruce Lee. Obviously, he could do the shit he said yep. he could do. Uh, Jet Li, obviously. Jet Li, all these, all these martial artists, they, you know, they actually had, quote, skins on the wall. Whereas Steven Seagal, a little suspect. Steven Seagal tells He's people, I trained with Bruce Lee. It's like, oh, you did, did you? When you were 13? He's also an actor, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. I don't really care. Uh, whatever. His movie is entertaining. That's all that matters to me. I watch the movie. I understand she's okay. I really didn't see anything else. Like, hard target and all this. I'm like, God damn. And he runs like a bitch. <laughs> he does. You're right. He runs like yeah, a yeah, bitch. Yeah, he does. There, there is, there, there is an, another Under Siege. Or Under Siege. There is another uh, Steven Seagal movie that was really good. Um, the one with the Jamaicans. What the hell was that? He, That's when he was skinny, though, right? Oh, well, yeah. It was around that when, same time. When he was skinny. Yeah. When he was skinny. I don't uh, think he was ever. Yeah, yeah well, in the early 80s. I'm going to figure this out because it was in uh, William Sadler was the evil senator or oh. whatever. Oh, jeez. Uh, ah, man. You're going to tell me the movie I, I knew. I, my, You know my favorite Steven Seagal film was? The one uh, we did with uh, Kurt Russell and uh, John Executive Lugel. Decision. Yeah. When he, that he was, died. You know, that was, actually, that was actually almost on my list. Yeah. I was going to say it was almost mine, too. I actually uh, like that movie a lot. Had John Leguizamo in it. Again. Yeah, John Leguizamo. He's yeah. good. Oliver Platt was in that one. Yeah. 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 Uh, was it Holly Berry? Right. Holly yes. Berry she was, was in the that stewardess. One. Yeah, she was a stewardess. Oh, pot brownies. Pot brownies. <laughs> 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 
Minus oh, the pot. No. Minus the brownie. Minus the oh, brownie. Oh, like pot brownies. Pot minus brownies. the brownie. Minus the brownie. Yeah. It's like, I'll take a rum and coke. Uh, hold the Hold coke. the rum. <laughs> did you just... Nikki, did you... Or no, it was it... Um, yes, I'll have a uh, scotch and water. Yeah. Hold the scotch. Yeah. Mommy, did you, did did you just make, make a joke? <laughs> <laughs> he, yes, I did. I, I've got a drink. Do you guys sure want some... Uh, yeah, some... Uh, uh, milk, but it does a body good. Obviously. Well, I'll just take water. Whatever. Whatever. You know, whatever you want to do. <laughs> I'm but down for anything. For kids yeah. only. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just... Uh, really? Geez. Jesus Christ. Right, I'm right, trying to think. Number six? I'm at number six. I'm trying to think Complete. of a good... Uh, well, I'll tell you that. I, I'll tell you the actor. I'll tell you some of the players. Uh, some of the players. You just got played, bitch. Sylvester Stallone. Oh, no. Did I do it again? I don't know. Uh, let me ask you a question. Yep. Was the bad guy also playing a priest in a certain uh, dancing movie? Oh, oh man. Dirty or, what? Or was he the father in Harry and the Hendersons? He was a father in Harry John and the Hendersons. John Lithgow? Yeah, yeah, John yeah. yeah, I was talking about Footloose. Oh, yeah, that's right. I completely forgot. So you're talking about Cliffhanger? Cliffhanger, yeah. yeah. No, it's not on my list. Okay. Nope, me, me e- neither. E- even though, even though uh, Ace Ventura 2 totally made fun of it. That's oh, yeah. Ace. That's where I was going to go no! originally. Yeah. <laughs> that's where I was going to go originally with uh, you know, saving, the, uh, saving the raccoon. Ooh, The Glimmer Man. That was a good movie. I think it's marked for I think it's marked for death. Yeah, I think yes, that's, that's it. it. That is I think it. that's yeah. the good one. Uh, it was okay. Yeah, because he puts the fucking gun in his mouth. That's not a gun. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what you think. I'm just very tall, <laughs> <laughs> or it's very long. Either one. <laughs> hey, look, you get to drink out of mason jars. Oh, yay! Cool. I'm one of those hippies. Thank yeah. you, ma'am. There's a there's a coaster there if you want to use it. Oh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> Thank you for that. Look at it's this a little jelly jar, yeah. Yeah, little jelly jar. Jelly jar. All right, number five. Number five. Are we on? What is happening? Right, we're on number five. Um, it's got two different names, and we're oh. eating pot brownies. Yeah, I hope there's pot in this. There is. Um, Sweet city. <gasps> Chocolate. Ooh. It's French. Oh, La Femme Nikita. No. Not that French. Ah, close. Yeah. Same right director. Oh, oh, geez. Uh, oh, Leon. Yes, Leon, the professional. The professional. Yeah, Leon, the professional. Ninety-four. Yeah. Gary Oldman. That's a good yeah. one. Yeah, didn't make my list, but that's a good film. I saw that. It was like, who is she? I want to be her. Yeah. Who is she? I want to fuck her one day. <laughs> not now. Not now. But yeah. Well, she's hmm. dead now, isn't she? No. She's what? She's a Jew, and she's really religious. She's really Jewish. Yeah. Fair enough. That's in her contract. Orthodox. Got to do it with the sheets on. Yeah. <laughs> Got to do it through the sheets. Jesus Christ. No, they don't believe in him. No, they believe in him, all right. <laughs> Just the wrong way. That sure was good pot. <laughs> that fucking Jesus guy, I swear. I swear to God. Don't call me Jeezy Creasy. <laughs> <laughs> we're, uh, we're taking a brownie break. Yep. All right, what's but number it, five? But it was just so badass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was trying to fill the space while you guys are lip smacking on um, the fucking mic, um, Jeremy. Um, um, um. So, my number five. every day we get pot brownies. That's true. My number five also has Gary Oldman in it. Fifth Element? Damn that it. That is correct. That's my number f- That's my number three. Oh, no, That was gotcha. my third honorable mention. Oh, you son of a bitch. Great film. That is a great movie. It is. <laughs> Negative. I am a meat popsicle. <laughs> I'm a meat popsicle. <laughs> I fucking That's, love that part. It, yeah, it's like, what? Uh, what Identify yourself. Are you human? Negative. I am a meat, meat popsicle. popsicle. Yeah, what, is that? what kind of sense does that make? <laughs> it's Fifth Element. It's uh, another French film, yeah. actually. Yeah. <clears throat> Luke you know, Bissell. Yeah. You, you know, out of all that whole movie, the, the one part that cracks me up more than anything in that movie Which is, when, is when he's at the bar and he's telling that story. And then the robot's just like, you, <laughs> you want, want some, some more? more. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, the robot just fucking shakes his head twice. Shh, shh. You want some more? <laughs> I know I'm supposed to be strong. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, Bilbo, we know. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Um, yeah. And Mila. Mila, Mila, Mila. Not a fan. No? I've never been a fan of Mila Jovovich. I'll tell you why I'm a fan of Mila Jovovich. Because I'm a Resident Evil fan. Not all the way to the far, as far as they've gone now, but the first movie <laughs> the yeah. first one I, I watched in theaters and I could great. watch it great movie it's not great it really it is. is I the more I watch it the more I, I, I like dissect